Popular Yellowstone National Park attractions will remain closed to summer visitors as scientists gather evidence of a possible resurgence of hot springs after a major eruption last July. Biscuit Basin, a popular tourist attraction that is usually packed with visitors, has been closed to the public since a major eruption in July 2024, and will remain closed through the summer. Biscuit Basin, located north of Old Faithful, erupted around 10 a.m. last summer, sending a huge plume of boiling air and debris into the sky, soaring hundreds of feet into the air. The massive blast destroyed sidewalks and sent tourists running for safety. Miraculously, no one was hurt, but scientists called it one of the most powerful hydrothermal vents ever recorded in the area's history. Now, given the basin's unpredictable history, scientists aren't sure when or if it will erupt again. We don't have enough information to know how Black Diamond Pool is going to behave in the future, he added. We know from seismic data and eyewitness accounts that there have been small eruptions from Black Diamond Pool since the big explosion last July. The force behind these explosions comes from the deadly combination of superheated water and a confined underground pipe, which creates a pressure cooker effect beneath the Earth's surface. Poland said that rocks that were ejected from the pool during the July explosion show evidence of being cemented together by silica deposits that have built up over the years. All the rocks that we've seen that came out as part of the explosion show evidence of having solidified, he told the outlet. They're held together by silica that has been deposited from the hot water in Black Diamond Pool. It essentially creates an underground cork that traps a tremendous amount of pressure until it eventually bursts and ends in a catastrophic explosion. Silica is impenetrable, he said. When you build up a layer of silica, it acts like a container, holding the pressure inside. That's what caused the July explosion. The pool seals itself off by trapping all the silica in the area, which allows pressure to build and eventually cause an explosion. Last year's explosion wasn't the first at Black Diamond Pool. On November 5, 2024, scientists collecting gas samples witnessed another major eruption, while a winter tour group witnessed another on January 3, 2025. However, last year's eruption was the largest ever recorded. The plumbing system was destroyed by that catastrophic event, but we still don't understand what the plumbing system looks like now and how it's evolved since that catastrophic event, Poland told the outlet. That's what the monitoring at Biscuit Basin specifically looks at. Infrasound refers to low-frequency acoustic energy. For the audiophiles out there, the specific frequency range in question is 0.1 to 20 Hz, which is below the human hearing range, typically 20 to 20,000 Hz. While infrasound isn't something humans can hear, this sound energy can be important for monitoring processes occurring within the atmosphere. Earth Infrasound travels efficiently through the atmosphere, experiencing very little atmospheric absorption or scattering compared to higher frequency energy. Continuous monitoring of infrasound, low-frequency acoustic energy, has now been established at Yellowstone and it detects activity well beyond the geyser eruptions. This means that infrasound can travel very long distances and still be detected. As a result, infrasound is a critical component of the International Monitoring System IMS, which is intended to detect nuclear tests. Nuclear explosions, even underground, create significant low-frequency sound waves that can be detected thousands of miles away from the blast source, 